Well, hello. Welcome to another episode of Afternoon Unboxings. No, really, no. This is not this is not what the channel is about, but it just so happens that now uh, the final package of my two router review just came in. So today we're going to take a look at the uh, one of the cheaper uh, versions of the Microtech CRS line, the CRS 305 4S I N and the Ubiquiti um, USW Flex Mini. Let's start with the Mini first. All right, so I've already slipped that open. And there we go. So let's start with the accessories first, which includes the, obviously, the power cord. If you let yourself get pulled out. So we've got the standard power cord. I got this straight from Ubiquiti, so uh, it got shipped free uh, and a day late via FedEx. So it's got it's powered by USB C and standard North American plug. So that's gonna be okay. And what else do we got? We got the ooh. Let's just take out the whole thing. Uh, that's not important. That's not important. You've got the, the packaging, the packet, the manual in a small, cute um, plastic packet. I don't think I'll need that, but you can scan the barcode at the back and then install the app uh, and things like that, I think. But uh, since I already have a Ubiquiti controller in a virtual machine, on my network controlling the access points, then uh, we should be good. But there's nothing else in the box except for the last piece. It's not even wrapped. The Flex Mini itself. Now there are probably a dozen reviews of this since, what, 2019, I think? Late 2019 or maybe late 2020 when this thing came out. So it is a five port, one, two, three, four, five. A five port switch with VLAN capabilities uh, and this part here it's PoE in meaning this is PoE powered so I'm thinking to power this via this one or um, to keep it more cleaner and this PO in portion here is also your management port so I'm thinking maybe we should use this via PoE this time make a cleaner setup now put this down and let's take a look at the CRS line, the smallest um, four port 4S. Comes with the manual here. I'll put that down on this side. And comes with the a power brick but it comes with the standard uh, adapter. I am not a fan of this. It works, but um, I believe this is also PoE powered and there's nothing else in the box but the CRS itself. And that should be it. I'll set that aside and take this out of its small plastic bag. This is this is nice. So this is, uh, it's actually um, dual powered. Well, dual power brick powered. You've got two DC one and DC two power ins via a standard power brick, which you can obviously line here towards the end for a clean look. I'll show you how to do that. Let's use DC two in here and, and you can Open this up here. Ooh. You'll get it. There. That's a nice and cleaner look to it. I'll take that off for now. And let's take this. Like I mentioned, this is the um, the CRS 305-1G-4S plus IN, as you know. And you may not know what the naming means is that this is the uh, the CRS uh, 3 series with 
five physical ports, four S meaning four SFP ports, and plus IN means this is a desktop version. Uh, otherwise it would be uh, plus RM or dash RM meaning rack mount. So you've got your feet here, right? And in the front, you've got a uh, PoE in, other port, and boot. You can network boot this and network install it and do all that stuff. Some nifty stuff from uh, Microtech, which doesn't have a, uh, a controller part. Uh, I suggest you use uh, WinFig uh, if you need a web GUI. But here are your SFP ports, and I bought a bunch of SFP uh, transceiver modules recently, which I haven't tested because I was waiting for the other piece to get this done. But you uh, just remove that, and you've got your SFP ports in here. There we go. So you have a look of the innards there. So yeah, that's a quick unboxing. And this is uh, this prop. And on the sign, you've got the. Um, You've got what the, uh, the the setup is. You've got a reset port there as well. Um, yeah, that's a pretty clean look. So, and that is it for a compare and sort of contrast. I don't think does this even have a, a reset port. There's a dot here. No, I don't see a reset port. Oh, there is a reset. There is a reset. There is a, a reset on there for the, the ubiquity line. So they've got the reset ports, ports um, but there are no other lights on that. So there's a uh, lights on lights port comparison. Yeah, but when I plug it, um, I'm going to line it like that. So you've got both of your... PUE in ports right there. I got the powered and then VLANs. All right, so that's just a quick unboxing, a quick view. I'm going to put this in my network, which is running at the moment OpenSense. I have PFSense in many areas of my extended network, uh, but I'm looking to incorporate all of this in a bigger switch, which apparently hasn't shipped yet from a Microtech reseller. That one was, is. Uh, the CRS328. Um, I think a 328-24P, meaning 24 ports powered, um, 2S, 2SFP ports, or 2S plus. Uh, if it's 2S, then that will give you uh, uh, S, by the way. Um, so the meaning of the S, if it's an S minus um, S, oh, sorry, an S minus is a standard, uh, I think, 100, uh, a standard gigabit uh, SFP port. A 4S plus lets you run gigabit on this thing. Uh, and that one is a 4S, uh, hopefully it's a 4S plus, um, plus RM, that's a rack mount. Anyway, I'll make a... Uh, bigger overview of that once it arrives hopefully someday this week if not next i did pay for two-day shipping but then again remember that it comes down to due to this pandemic you've got availability issues right all right so thanks for stopping by and taking a look at this quick unboxing and i'll talk to you soon once i get that other thing set up and other adventures we have on this network until then take care